this is Steve coming at you from College Inn in the University District, right down the street from UW, home of the dogs, otherwise known as the Huskies, after having spent the day yesterday with uh, my lovely, so significant other, Carol, while she had a new hip put in. She broke her hip in her difficulties with the nursing facility she's been in for over two years. And a big part of this project, just from a personal standpoint, is getting her the hell out of Dodge in her Washington State imposed incarceration in a nursing home because they took our money, which I won't get into or I'll get grumpy. <laughs> I'd rather laugh and make this video about saving oceans than get grumpy about my lovely state and country. Today starts the huge run to the hundred plus footers of Elmas. Those are the extreme lifestyle marketing assets that are nautical. Naughty, we call them. N-A-U-T-I. Naughty in nature. And there are several of them which we have other videos of I won't mention, but we're going after the hundred foot naughties. And we're going after multiple hundreds of feet of land naughties or RVs, big ones, 30 foot and up, 30 to 40 foot, maybe even some greater than 40 foot, mostly diesel buses. We're going to do the whole Greyhound slash Jerry Garcia bus routine. We're going to do the high-end RVs with big Caterpillar and Cummins and GM diesels in them that cost less than 10 or even less than 5 pennies on the dollar of what they would cost to build today and even what they cost to build a decade or more ago and which have been cared for pride of ownership speak wise they've been cared for and they're ready to rock and roll for this project and you're going to get the benefit because they're amazing marketing assets if you have the right story that goes with them. Today we start telling that story on a very highly viral basis and if you look at my video on yacht cloning which is really Elma cloning applied to the nautical world where a vessel that's extremely exciting, extremely romantic, with an absurd amount of history, and you, you can't walk by it or have it go by you in your boat or on the land without you doing a double take. Wow! What was that? What just went by? Well, those can clone themselves, and they can do it quickly. Within a week, maybe two, they've produced sufficient funds to make a copy of themselves. And that doesn't mean we buy another one just like them. It means we buy something unique that also has history and also is capable of doing that rubberneck on the part of people looking in on this. And it might not even be power this time. It might be sale. And it might not have one mast. It might have three. And it might not have a single screw diesel, it might have twin screws, and it might have a hot tub on the roof of the RV or the back cockpit of the vessel, but it's going to turn heads. It might have something behind it if it's a 40 foot diesel pusher, as long as we don't try to pull something 40 feet because it violates Different states won't let you have an 80-foot thing on the road, especially if you just have a driver's license. You're not even a commercial driver. It's amazing. They let you just 70 years old, and you can get behind the wheel of a Greyhound bus because it has a toilet in the back, and now it's classified as an RV, and they don't even test you to see if you could roll that thing down the road. 
yeah, you're on the road with those, at least in the United States. Probably some other places, too. Seniors have power, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> Watch out when you see a diesel RV coming. You have no idea what the training is behind that wheel. It might even be the 18-year-old daughter. She has a driver's license. Uh-huh. And she's coming up pretty fast on you, like about 70, because they've got a great big huge diesel in the back. That's called a pusher. It pushes it along from the back instead of this engine in the front thing. Diesel pushers are cool. Diesel trawlers are cooler. Diesel trawlers can take you a long ways that is a whole bunch harder to go on the land. It can take you to the island. It can take you across the strait. It can take you around the bay, the big one, the big bay. RVs on the land can't do that. But there's a whole bunch more people on the land running around in luxury RVs. They're interested in finding out why they're paying for their RV instead of making money with it. Same with the us. There's a huge latent demand for how do you apply the internet and digital marketing to your favorite toy and make a ton of money on an hourly basis. How do you do that? Well, it's not that hard, except that you need the five M's. You need the mindset. You need the mission. You need the model. It's really hard to find the right model. You need the mentor, and you need some mother mo. You need some momentum behind you. It doesn't happen in an hour or in a pay cycle like you're used to if you have a day job. It doesn't happen that way. It takes a little bit more work, a little bit more lifting, a little bit more patience, and then boom, you're really not having to work very much anymore because your Elmas, your framework, your friends, your tribe is working for you, and you're not. You're just playing. We call it Play-Doh, like that old toy of kids. Or my favorite is fun hyphen e hyphen money. Fun e money, which is having a whole bunch of fun and making a whole bunch of electronic currency from 180 countries in 24 time zones while you're asleep or your wife is having surgery on her hip. Yeah, that kind of money, passive. Residual, say it. It kind of has four syllables so people don't learn it. It's a really powerful word. Put it on a wall and stare at it with some dollar signs or some euros or whatever your currency is around it. Residual. That's what you want. If you don't have any, get some. It's really cool. Residuals are cool. They're not bad. They're not those naughty one percenters. They're not that silly. Made off with my investment money. No. They're what makes the world go round. They're what provides the venture capital for a project like this one. Residuals. Say it with me. Passive. It keeps coming. Like a fire hydrant, whether you get out of bed or not, whether you're sick or not, whether you're tending to something or someone that you wish you weren't sometimes, it just keeps coming. And you want some of it. And we'll help you get it with our framework, with our ELMAs. And pretty soon you'll have your own framework, your own ELMAs, and your own residual, residual money, which is not a bad thing. It's just stored food. Get used to and be comfortable with making money, and your life will change. This is Steve signing out from College Inn on the third floor walk-up, awesome, European style. Not It's bed and breakfast, thing. they're going to feed me in this a little bit, it's pretty cool. It's kind of unusual to have a four floor, sort of, I don't know how many units there are here, but it's an unusual bed and breakfast, but there's a lot of those, a lot of continental breakfasts uh, that come with the deal uh, when you're over here in the West. Signing out.